Today we have this absolute beast of an integral that we are going to annihilate using some pretty elegant yet simple techniques. So let's call the integral i and we're going to start off by using integration by parts because the structure of our integral absolutely screams that. So we're going to integrate this function here, this x by 1 plus x squared squared function and we're going to differentiate the natural log of 1 plus e to the x. So integrating, we need a factor of 2 up here and another factor of 1 half. So on integration, we have negative 1 by 1 plus x squared. And on differentiating the natural logarithm function here, we get e to the x divided by 1 plus e to the x. So we're left with i being equal to the negative of the natural log of 1 plus e to the x divided by 1 plus x squared, with the limits being negative and positive infinity. Then you have a negative sign, and this extra negative cancels that out, so it's a positive sign, uh, plus the integral from negative to positive infinity of the uh, integrated function, which was 1 by 1 plus x squared, times the differentiated function, which is uh, e to the x divided by 1 plus e to the x, and we're integrating with respect to x, of course. Now to evaluate this term here, first up notice that in the limit, uh, the limit of the natural log of 1 plus e to the x divided by 1 plus x squared, as x goes to negative infinity, as x goes to negative infinity, this term here goes to 0, so you're approaching the natural log of 1 in the numerator, which is 0. So the entire thing collapses in that limit. But as far as the limit of the natural log of 1 plus e to the x divided by 1 plus x squared in the limit as x goes to infinity, now using L'Hopital's rule, because you have this infinity by infinity form, you can use L'Hopital's rule and differentiate the numerator. So you get e to the x divided by 1 plus e to the x and differentiate the denominator so you get 2x. Now evaluating this in the limit as x goes to infinity, and for this term here in the numerator, let's multiply upstairs and downstairs by e to the negative x. So that way you get 1 upstairs, and down here you're going to be left with e to the negative x, right? So this term here goes to 0. The numerator entirely goes to 1 and the 2x term goes to infinity. So the entire structure approaches 0 as x goes to infinity. So you can just cancel this thing out because it's 0. So this implies that i equals the integral from negative to positive infinity of e to the x dx divided by 1 plus x squared times 1 plus e to the x. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to factor out from the denominator an e to the x by 2 term. So once you factor that out, you're going to be left with e to the x by 2. Inside, you're going to have e to the x by 2 plus e to the negative x by 2, correct? And because you have these two exponential functions being divided and the bases are the same, you can subtract the uh, the arguments. You can subtract the exponents. So x minus half of x is just half of x. So this is the structure of the integral that we're going to be working with. And now I'm going to perform a transformation from the x world to the negative x world. So i now equals the integral from positive to negative infinity of e to the negative x by 2 uh, dx becomes negative dx, and you're left with 1 plus x squared. And this term here stays the same because you have both positive and negative x by 2, right? Okay, cool. So switching up the order of the limits of integration because it looks infinitely weird, and you can get rid of the negative sign that way. So you just have dx here, and we're integrating from negative to positive infinity which is okay. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add up these two structures for the integral i. So adding them up gives me 2i being equal to the integral from negative to positive infinity 
Now, because the denominators are the same, we're just going to use the common denominator stuff here. We have 1 by 1 plus x squared times e to the x by 2 plus e to the negative x by 2. And upstairs, we have e to the x by 2 plus e to the negative x by 2. So this is awesome. You have some stuff canceling out, and you're left with, once you divide both sides by 2, we're left with i being equal to the integral from negative to positive infinity of dx by 1 plus x squared, uh, one half of it anyway, which is the familiar inverse tangent integral. So you're left with one half of inverse tangent of x with the limits being negative and positive infinity. So as x approaches infinity, the inverse tangent approaches pi by 2. And when x approaches negative infinity, it approaches negative pi by 2. So you have pi by 2 plus pi by 2, which is pi divided by 2, which implies that the integral from negative to positive infinity of x times the natural log of 1 plus e to the x divided by 1 plus x squared squared equals pi by 2. Yeah, that was awesome. A pretty quick evaluation of an integral here. It's one of my shorter videos, but hey, we were here for a good time, not a long time. So yeah, there's nothing wrong with finishing early in this case. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you. See you next time.